Broadly, uh, if you could explain a little bit more how the president has been preparing for this big trip tomorrow, uh, how much time has he been spending in briefings, just sort of how has he uh, been getting ready for this upcoming well, first, I will say that he's been getting ready for 50 years. Um, he has been on the world stage. He's known a number of these leaders for decades, uh, including President Putin and including a number of the leaders he'll see at NATO and he'll see at the G7. Now, this is an important opportunity uh, for him to see them in person, and there's nothing like face-to-face -face engagement in diplomacy. And uh, for him, somebody who, as you've seen, him, the fact that he's welcomed in Democrats and Republicans to the Oval Office, that's just an indication of how much he feels that format is effective. Uh, so he's been uh, engaging with his team, talking about what bilateral conversations he'll be having, where there are opportunities, where there are moments to uh, voice the United States uh, concern where necessary. Uh, but uh, again, he's, uh, he's got quite a, uh, a, a several decades of experience to build on here. So, um, you know, he'll be relying on that in the in during his trip. Go ahead, Phil. Um, Secretary Granholm on Sunday said that it was frustrating that uh, uh, a pathway for a bipartisan deal hadn't come to fruition yet. Does the president share that frustration at this point? Well, I would say the president has a benefit of 36 years in the Senate where he has seen that the sausage making is messy. It takes time. There are ups and downs in the roller coaster. We're right in the middle of the sausage making right now. Um, and the president's view is that uh, it's a good sign that there are several viable paths forward, that we are having good faith conversations, of course, with Democrats and our Democratic colleagues and partners, but also with a number of Republicans. That's a good sign. At the same time, uh, uh, the House is moving forward with marking up key components of the American Jobs Plan. So the fact is, this train is moving on several tracks. Uh, that's how we know these uh, larger packages, larger proposals often move forward, and uh, we're encouraged by uh, the variety of options. And 